Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. So what is this saying? <clears throat> if you are telling people about God and stuff like that, that is one thing. So, of course, you would have to be among sinners if you are telling them about God. But what I am speaking of, when it gets to you are hanging around these people just to have personal fun, you are setting yourself up. Even for myself, I may come around family members who are in sin and stuff like that, but I am not going to stay long and I am not going to be there all day, every day, because I know that the demons that are in them are going to be transferred into me if I am not careful. And, you know, people know, at least the people that know me and my family, even the ones that don't serve God, they know the way that I am. And to a certain extent, they may not do certain sinful things around me or <clears throat> they are a little bit cautious of it to a certain extent. Anyways, so stay away from people who are in sin unless you are teaching them. And there are not too many people teaching other people. So more than likely, what you should do is stay away from all sinners. Even if you have been friends with them for 40 years. If they are smoking weed all the time, drinking, getting drunk, abusing pills and stuff like that. You need to stay away from those people because if you don't, you are going to be influenced to do the same things. I was talking to this other guy and <clears throat> this guy jumps back and forth. You know, one day he serves God and other day or let's say for a certain time period, he may be serving God. Then he goes back to his sins then it is this back and forth thing. And he was telling me that his friends still contact him and stuff like that. I told him, look, man, if they are not willing to serve God, you need to cut them a loose. The reason why you are not cutting them a loose because inside of you, you are not really wanting to surrender everything to God. You are not really wanting to give up your life for God. Meaning, give up the sinful things in your life for God. So this is why you are keeping this lifeline to your friends just in case you go right back into sin. You need to cut all connections with sinful people. There was this one person that I was friends with from, wow, from the fourth grade. I don't know what age that is. The fourth grade all the way to like 18. I had to cut him a loose. Because the way that I was, I am not that way anymore. So what he is interested in is different from my interests. Does that make any sense? So I am not going to continually place myself in temptation just to be someone's friend. Does that make any sense? So you keeping a lifeline open to those sinful friends is going to keep you in sin because if you are truly serious about God, you are going to do what it takes 
to get your life straight. But the reason why you are not cutting connections from people because you know deep down inside you may want to go right back into sin again. I'm telling you. So it is no surprise that people keep wavering in their salvation. You need to cut people a loose. There are some people, look, there are some people who can teach way better than I, know more about God than I, probably know how to do much more things than me, but they still want to sin. Some people are just wicked. What can you say to a person that knows more than you about God? What can you say? Because what you are going to say to that person, they already know. So if a person knows to do right, but choose to do wrong, what can you say? All you can do is really pray for that person. That's it. So I pray that this makes sense. So stay away from sinful people and stay away from sinful things. God bless.